Hello everyone, this is Daphne and I'm back with another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the Samsung Notes app on Samsung tablets and phones. It's not an in-depth tutorial, it's just a basic tutorial of the toolbar. And I clicked on the app on my tablet and now I'm clicking on the new Notes app. And I'm doing this on my Galaxy S6 Lite, which comes with the S Pen, which is what I'm showing you here. And as I clicked in the title, the little box come out here. This is called S Pen the text. This is something that you have to enable in your settings if you want to do this. And what it does is you can write, and then as you write, it will change it into text for you. But like I said, you have to go into the settings of your tablet or your phone and enable it. Well, yeah, you, if you have a S Pen that comes with your tablet or phone, you have to go into the settings and then enable it in order for it to do that. This is the keyboard I'm just showing you, and the little arrow down there in the corner is pointing. Um, that's if you don't want to do the handwriting, if you don't want to do that, if you want to use the regular old keyboard and type the regular way, that's what you would click on instead of using the S Pen. And you have to do this with the Samson's keyboard. It doesn't work with Google Keyboard. You have to have the Samson keyboard enabled. Here I'm showing you the writing tools that come with Samson Notes. You have the fountain pen, the calligraphy pen, just the regular pen, the pencil, and the calligraphy brush. And you can change the thickness of each pen, and you can also change the color of each pen. To, you know whatever color thickness you desire this right here is the fountain pen and I'm gonna do each one but I'm gonna do them in different colors just so you can see how they look this is the calligraphy pen and like I said this is not an in-depth um it's the regular pen this is not in-depth um tutorial this is just the toolbar I'm just going over the two bars if you want an in-depth tutorial um there's plenty of other videos out there on YouTube that does go into in-depth um different things you can do on Samsung Note this is the pencil. I'm actually going to change the thickness of that pencil so you can see how the how it looks differently when you do change. Y'all gotta excuse my hand right now. I, I have what the teachers will call chicken scratch hand. Chicken scratch hand, right? And that's the calligraphy brush. And now I'm going to go to the highlighter tool. And it's four different ones. You have the regular highlighter, the straight line highlighter, the marker pen, and straight line marker. And the same thing with this. You can change the thickness and you can change the color. And I'm going to go through each one of those. That's the regular highlighter. Straight line highlighter does a straight line and you can move it back and forth. The regular marker is different from the regular highlighter because it's rounded. And then the straight line marker, as you can see, the ends are rounded compared to the straight line highlighter. Now we're going to go to the eraser tool. And you just click on it. And it just erases everything. It's kind of self-explanatory. I don't know what I did just then. <laughs> I'm now about to show you the, um, my brain, y'all, I'm sorry, I went blank. <laughs> what is that tool called? <laughs> I want to call it the grabber, but that is not what it's called. <laughs> oh my goodness. Selector, I'm so sorry, y'all. You can call it the selector tool, you can rewind it because of my brain. But I wrote the word notes and I selected and then I was showing you how you can change the style right inside the selector tool but I didn't hit done so I selected again change style hit done and as you can see the color of it changed the selector tool yeah I went my brain went it just went dead for a second and this is your favorites like your colors if you have a certain palette that you use you can put your top three favorite colors up here so you don't have to keep going into the brushes um tool to change your colors and you can just put your top three I'm just showing you how to change it you just click on it then you pick whatever color you want and then make sure you click done at the end and then put your top three favorite colors up there and you can change your pen thickness here as well you know where in the highlighter and the pens where i show you, you can change thickness but well, you can also change it right here it's the same thing changing your thickness and that's the undo which is self-explanatory and that's the redo but i didn't show it because it's self-explanatory as well this is the S Pen to text, which is what I was talking about earlier. If you have an S Pen tablet or phone and it's enabled in your settings, if you have that enabled, you can click on it, do a handwriting, and it will translate it to text. And that's what I'm doing here. Just showing you. And I put kind of cool. The cool is not going to show up because it's on a separate line and that didn't work. Now to erase this, I'm gonna go back to the keyboard tool over there on the left-hand side. I'm showing you that the eraser tool don't work. You have to actually go to the keyboard tool. And you just click on it and delete everything. And that's how you can delete the text. 
the straightener tool you have to really look at this because it doesn't if you, you'll miss it what it do is if you're writing you're kind of crooked i try to write this as crooked as i could to show you how it straighten up but it you click on it and any text it'll and you see it's straightened you might have to rewind it just to look and see because it is straightening and this is the style changer you can change your um style and you just swipe across i'm gonna change the color i'm gonna change it to blue it's kind of cool if you ask me i think it's kind of cool the easy writing pad that is um something i didn't show it this is a uh, neat shakes i'm showing right now you can draw a shape click on neat shapes draw your shape and it will make it as neat as possible for you but the easy writing pad that's something else you might have to um look at i forgot i had to add this video because i forgot to show you those things at the top right here is the page sorter this is if you want to add extra pages to your notes that's where you would go or if you want to delete pages from your notes that's where you would go to delete you select them and delete the little thing that like a little book right there that is called reading mode if you click on it it'll take the toolbar off the side so you won't make a mistake and write on it and you can just scroll through and read as if like you was reading a book or if you're doing digital journals that's why i'm do i do my samson news digital journals and i will have a video up on how i do my digital journals if y'all would like to see that this over here i'm just showing you the page template you can change they have image templates that you can use you can also do pdf templates i work with the pdf templates myself but you can also use image templates if you prefer to do that i like pdf templates because you can if you're doing digital journaling, you can get PDF templates from Etsy or whatnot. If you don't want to make them yourself and just upload them to your Samsung notes and use them as your journal. But that's that's what I'm showing you here. That you can change your different templates up. And you can do either image or you can do um, PDF. And this right here, I'm just showing you, you can change your background color of your page. This is in page setting. And I was showing you earlier the image templates. And I think I'm going to go back and show you that you can do PDF templates as well. That's what I'm trying to do. I was listening to music while I was doing this. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to page template to show you that you can up. They have PDF templates, and you can also upload your own and then download it to um, here, which I have a journal template right there that I use in my Samsung. And like I said, I got a video coming on how I do um, journaling in Samsung Notes. Um, if you would like to see that. Stay tuned for when it will be uploaded. And we have come to the end of the video. This is all for now. I appreciate you guys watching. Please give me a like and a thumbs up. Share my content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.